Good evening, I'm Jackson Kurtz. Friends and family said their final goodbye to Lisa Lopez Galvan this morning. Lisa died after being shot at the end of the Chiefs Super Bowl rally at Union Station nearly two weeks ago. Lisa was a beloved radio host and DJ. An online memorial fund has raised about $400,000. She leaves behind a husband and two children. Everyone we talked to says she'll be greatly missed. Her smile, her, 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 her love of life, her, her love of doing music and entertaining people and, and making friends. She was a, a wonderful person inside and out and uh, she'll be sorely missed by everybody that knew her. Today, flags in Kansas flew at half staff to honor Lopez Galvan. Kansas Governor Laura Kelly said in the statement, Kansans and the entire Kansas City community are mourning the loss of Lisa Lopez Galvan. I'm grieving for her family and for all the victims and their loved ones. Today, a group gathered outside of Union Station to pray for Lopez Galvan and all the victims in the shooting. KBC 9's Peyton Headley is in Kansas City with their message. Great Outside of Union Station, just past the memorial, filled with flowers and notes for the victims of the shooting at the Chiefs rally, has been good to me. a group of just more than a dozen gathered to pray for peace. Read me a healing in Kansas City. Bishop John Birmingham Jr. led the group. Our main objective to go out and pray against the violence in our city. He says he was heartbroken by the shooting and felt compelled to do something. One young lady, one young mother, lost her life in location. That stirred me up. I asked myself the question, why would they do this? Why? This is senseless. So together, they prayed for Lisa Lopez Galvan, for all the victims in the shooting, and for peace for their city. But you have power to change. You have power to change. And we got to make a difference. We have a voice. This, this got to stop. This was senseless here. They're hopeful they'll see change. That's why we're here, to stop this stuff, to stop these senseless murders. In Kansas City, Peyton Headley, KMBC 9 News. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have an update at one of the men charged in last week's deadly parade day shooting. Court documents show an attorney for Dominic Miller appeared in court yesterday on his behalf. There was no mugshot of Miller because he's still in the hospital. His attorney requested a reduced bond or pretrial release. Miller is charged with second degree murder along with Lindell Mays. Prosecutors say a bullet from Miller's gun hit and killed Lisa Lopez Galvan.